Hello, Cherry viewers. Welcome to Ideas How Do I Multimedia. It's another good day with your girl, Success Dragon. It has been a very long time since I came your way with thought provoking, educative, and entertaining messages. But guess what? I'm coming up to you today with a thought provoking message titled Partner Killing. Partner Killing has now become the order of the day in the Ghanaian society. This topical issue has called for numerous public concern in recent times. This is due to the fact that people now see partner killing as the practical and rudimentary channel or mechanism to register their dissatisfaction or ill feeling towards their partners. But before we officially go deep and deeper into today's show, let's go for a quick commercial break. When we get back, we commence the show on what partner killing is, its causes, and means to care of it. As you enjoy the break, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow me, a gem presenter, on all social media handles, which includes Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like and share. Stay tuned. I'm right back. Hello, guys. Nana Ya Floriski. Lady Swagger. We are here for Drive Time. Motivational messages. for our Tia Casa. Lovers Canes. A Bravo Winsome. We would like you to subscribe, like, share on all social media platforms. Ideas Adona Multimedia. Promoting, Promoting the arts. arts. Bye. Bye. Welcome back from that quick commercial break. Let me reiterate on the fact that today's show is going to be educative, entertaining, and indeed thought provoking. The topical issue, partner killing, has now become the order of the day in the Ghanaian society. It's very prevalent and very disheartened in the economy of Ghana. When we say partner killing, partner killing, I may say, is the act of taking one's partner's life. This thing is now very prevalent in the Ghanaian society. This practice is often committed by ladies and men, but talking of prevalency is on the side of men. That is to say, men are mostly the people that take the lives of their partners as a means of registering their displeasure towards them. And as we all know, people go into relationship for one, two or more reasons. It could be that a lady might go into a relationship with a man because of his physical outfit. And a lady can also go into a relationship with a man for financial assistance. And as is often said, love is blind. In the process of the relationship, things that are supposed to be significantly regarded as the very factors or roots that can sustain a happy relationship are often disregarded. They include knowing the temperament of the, of the partner. Two, knowing the likes and the slides of the partner and finally knowing how your partner acts towards you when you contradict his rules and regulations or knowing how your, your partner reacts towards conditions that are unpleasant and what do we see today in this modern ghana we see cases of partner killing and domestic violence here and there this is because People, most especially the young generation coming up, often regard, disregard these things that are supposed to be taken into consideration in order to ensure a peaceful relationship or a marriage. And what do you think are the causes of this very disheartened but prevalent activity in the Ghanaian society? One, a sudden, a sudden end to a relationship without any tangible reason. This very point has now, this very thing that's a sudden end to relationship without tangible reason has now become something that is a key factor that caused this disheartened but prevalent cases in this Ghanaian society. Let's just take a recap or recall an, an information which was disseminated a month ago about a lady who was shot by her, her boyfriend because it brought the girl intends to stop or put an end to their relationship. So let's just imagine you, assuming you are a man who have catered for a lady since 
junior high school to tertiary education and now the lady comes up to you and tell you that guy please i'm fed up with the relationship i can't go on with it this is something that often make men most especially to go into this inhuman act that is partner killing as a means of airing or registering their displeasure or all ill feeling towards their partners two infidelity this is a situation where partners go into extra extra relationship affairs with other people aside the people they are in the relationship with the suspected partners are often living with fear in them because they always have that mindset that their other partner may get to know the truth about what he or she is doing. And when it comes to the notice of the other partner, the suspected partner becomes something that the other partner puts a spy on, to spy on every move of his or her partner. And at times, people often pour assets, shoot them, beat them physically to death when they are caught red-handed cheating on their partners three domestic violence as we all know domestic violence is something that is so prevalent in the Guinean society most especially those in the northern region of this our prodigious country ghana this is because um, people over there are so ignorant and uneducated on the effect and a need to be in good terms or treat their husbands and wives very calmly and gently. And as we know, domestic violence in the process involves physical beatings, batterings, and physical assault as well. Partners often beat or say words that are casual and very hurting to their partners, which can even poise them to take something to hit the other, which can accidentally lead to partner killing. And as we all know, this is something that is very prevalent and very appalling in the Guinean society. And this issue, partner killing, has been calling for swift and drastic attention to be tackled with by the agencies in the country. And we are now moving to the measures to curb this. One, thorough study of partner before accepting proposals. This is to say that before an individual, especially ladies, will accept proposals from men, they have to know the temperament of the person, how the person behaves or reacts towards situations that are conditionally unpleasant his likes and dislikes. This will ensure great interpersonal relationship between partners. When people get to know the temperament and the likes and dislikes of his or her partner, they are able to live harmoniously without squabbles and petty disagreements, which can in turn lead to domestic violence, which escalates to partner killing when the appropriate measures are not put in place. Two, relying on criminal justice. There is something that I'm directing to married women, most especially, because this is where ladies have to be assertive, have to be bold enough to stand tall and report their husbands that threatens to kill them, to justice institution for the justice to take its course. I would say to my my mothers watching me or any married woman watching me that I am a girl of 17 years old but have this passion to be someone, to be a voice of conscience. And I therefore entreat you all married women that don't don't hesitate to report your husband who threatens to kill you. When immediately you utter something like, I will kill you, I will beat you, I will stab you, don't hesitate to report this kind of person or husband to the um, criminal justice institutions for it to take its course. Don't wait for it to be for you, 
before you report. And what of if that day you don't survive again? Who is going to tell the story? Who is going to clarify everything? Who is going to serve us a witness and then a, a tangible evidence of the incident that happened? Two, endorsing media campaigns against partner intimate violence. This is an entry, an entry that I'm giving to the Queen Mothers, the President of Ghana, the media, the gender ministry, and Queen Mothers of this land. But I tell you, that is something that is hurting me. And that is, I see nothing that you people are doing about it. So I therefore entreat you to resource the media institutions, to campaign, to educate, to sensitize the public on the, the need to be very, very good in their relationships and on the effects of harming one's partner. This can also at times abate the rate at which domestic violence occur in this country, which often leads to partner killing in recent times. The above mentioned points are causes and measures to curb this disheartening, sorrowful, but prevalent practice in the given society that is partner killing. But there is this thing that babbles me most in this country. I'm a girl of 17 years old and I always get frightened. I always get scared about the future. This is because ladies are now being killed like chickens. This is because we ladies, we are ignorant. We don't have the needed information about things that we indulge in. So I therefore call out with a solemn and, and, and a solitary voice to the Queen Mothers of our land, the President of Ghana, and the Gender Ministry especially, the Waju, to take a drastic and swift attention to this topical issue, partner killing. I want queer mothers to educate the girls on the need to be to stay chaste, on the implications of things that they do in life. Let's just take a look at this. An SHS girl who posted a video publicly saying that, hey married women, we are at the verge of completing. And if you want the best for you, you better hide your husband because we are coming for them. My brother, my sister, my mom, my dad watching me. What is the implication of what this girl said? And as you know, when young girls of today do such things and they are not questions, they are not put to book, they become addicted to this. And when in the future, when they marry, they won't be able to stay with one man. They will intend to cheat, which often leads to this inhuman practice now, partner killing in the Ghana, in the Ghanaian society nowadays. But before I validate and say goodbye to you, my part, my cherries viewers, I would like to give some shout outs to some very some personalities out there. My first shout out goes to Idea is the Cardinal Man, my director. Secondly, to foster IMB, my tutor, who has always been my role model, my source of inspiration, and many more. Thirdly, a big child goes to my brothers in Accra, Haganibela Paul, Yao Jacob, and Isaiah. And to all my family members, I say thank you. I also say good morning to my paramount chief of Siruku, called Naba Atonde Yabuzoti Kom Samis Kamaltinga Roland Akwara the Ted and the um, paramount chief of Zoko Kodoroko. 
I say thank you to all St. Monica girls. You've been my source of inspiration. You've been that source of vigor to my elbows. You've given me grace. You graced me like that of a mortal to start a race. Thank you for your inspiration. I say goodbye to everyone watching me. But as I, let me reiterate on the fact that don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow me, your gem presenter, on all social media handles, which includes Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.